Hi, in this demo, I want to show you how you can create your own Aura component and have a previewer, download the documents, uh, call a pack. And then of course you can extend that to maybe a lightning web component or any other functionality that you might have. We of course took some shortcuts as this is a demo. If you want to have uh, some spinners or some weighting indicators or whatever, or some visual feedback like toasts, all of that you can add because you guys are developers, obviously. Let's do a quick demo of what you can do right here. So I can click the generate button. So the generate button will now uh, generate the document. So when it's loaded, it will automatically show it over here. So this is done in real time. And this is the generated document. I can download the document directly from here. So if I click the download button, you will see it's being downloaded. Okay. And then that is uh, my file downloaded. And also I can just call a pack from here. And that's a mail pack. So this pack uh, we have for gener uh, set up in PDF Butler. And if if I call that one, you know, it will actually mail my document and close the previewer. Cool, that's the demo. Now let's take a look and do a deep dive. In our, I've created a uh, lightning, uh, sorry, uh, Aura component and the Aura component, obviously I have set a certain controller in Apex and I have indicated that I want to use the record ID. Next to that, I have uh, I want to uh, uh, keep my data uh, of the config data, so that's the document that we need, and we need a uh, boolean to say, oh, do you want to show the preview or not? This boolean will actually indicate that this uh, model, which is this one over here, will have to show or not show. In this model, we have an iframe, and in that iframe, I load from the uh, Cadmus core, so from the from PDF Butler, I load our previewer, and in in this previewer you can then of course see the document as you would like also i have uh, created three buttons here so a button to run the pack a button to download it and of course a button to uh, uh, to close our previewer if you don't want to take any actions cool that's step one then uh, we obviously have an, uh, a controller on our uh, Aura component in this controller. First of one is the called the Gen PDF. The Gen PDF is called when I click the button, and that was this button over here, generate. So this uh, button is then clicked, and then it calls this one, which will then show the previewer. That's what we've seen. Uh, it will prepare everything to uh, call the uh, the uh, Apex class, and then when that is done, we retrieve some uh, config. Uh, sorry, some uh, uh, JSON. And this JSON uh, we are gonna save first because we're gonna need it later on. Um, within this JSON, you will have the document, um, so in a technical representation called Base64, and we're going to actually have to uh, send this document off to our previewer. And that you can do here with this load PDF uh, method. Uh, you will see that it's in a timeout. There is sometimes some uh, lightning issues where uh, Salesforce Lightning uh, cannot follow uh, the user interface, and that's why we have said, you know what, let Lightning have a little bit of, of rest and have a delay of 500 milliseconds. And then, yeah, well, this method is called, you can take a look at it if you would like, but it just actually pushes the uh, base 64. Okay. Next to that, we also have uh, a pack. So if we run the pack, then it will call backend and pass on the uh, record ID. And it will also pass on a pack ID. So this pack ID is hard coded because it's unique over all environments. If you want to get it from a custom setting, come on, everybody here is a developer. So just uh, put it in a custom setting for development reasons or for demo reasons. We just put it here hard coded. And it can be hard coded because, like I said, it's unique over all environments. It just comes from the pack. You can copy it from here. And uh, then, yeah, when you move it to, when we move this pack to development environments, another sandbox, production, whatever, it will always have the same ID. And that's why we say you can just hard code it. But of course, you can run it as you would like. Also, there is a download functionality. So, uh, 
this download functionality will actually uh, look for a certain tag, an, an anchor tag inside the component. In this component, as you see here, we have the anchor tag and there is an aura ID with the certain file download name ID. So it will get that tag and then download the, uh, the document together with the correct title. So you can just use this example here to download the document gets downloaded. And closing the preview is very simple. Just say that the value variable show preview is set to false, then it will close the preview. Cool, that's the part of the uh, front end, the user interface. Now let's take a look at what happens when uh, the back end, the apex is called. So here we call the convert method. In the convert method, you would see that actually it just calls PDF butter, to be honest. So we're going to call a method called uh, uh, convert with wrapper and more information on this method you can find right here in our Apex documentation where this method is explained with examples and everything. So this is our default method. It returns a wrapper and this from this wrapper we're going to take the target name. Uh, so that's the title of the document and we're going to take the uh, uh, base64 and that's uh, set as the base64. Uh, you can follow the explanation here. What we want to ret uh, return is a JSON, but just for brevity of and for the demo purposes, I have just uh, uh, string concatenated the JSON together. An important step is from the page 64 that you're gonna encode it because otherwise the front end cannot handle it. And it's actually an, uh, a binary blob that you're gonna uh, have to pass on. And that's not what the front end wants. We're gonna base 64 it, encode it. Okay, next to that, we also have a pack method. So that method is called when uh, you call the pack order and pack over here. And in this run pack method, you would see that actually uh, what it will do is it will get the pack ID. So instead of uh, uh, setting the doc config ID, it will set the pack ID. And from this pack ID, it will, like, uh, it will pass it on to the same method we have called earlier, convert with wrapper. What it will do now is it will um, call PDF Butler, it will generate the document, but also call the pack if it's an email pack or a signed pack or whatever type of pack that you want to generate or create or configure with PDF Butter, that pack will be executed. So in this case, uh, what I just did here was actually a mail quote pack where we have an auto email uh, actionable that will uh, send out the, uh, uh, the quote via email. So that's it. That's all the code that we need. And then we have a nice cool previewer and functionality to download and, uh, and call a pack from a uh, custom Aura component.